The Scottish and UK governments are on a new constitutional collision course after SNP ministers recommended Holyrood should reject the law that would get Brexit done. SNP Brexit Secretary Michael Russell told his UK counterpart he was urging MSPs to withhold legislative consent from the EU Withdrawal Agreement Bill, WAB. It means Westminster, which is voting on the WAB at second reading today, will almost certainly have to impose the legislation on Scotland without Holyrood's agreement despite it covering a number of devolved areas. This has happened only once before since 1999, when Westminster imposed the original Brexit withdrawal law on Scotland last year, in spite of MSPs voting 93 to 30 against it. Another confrontation is likely to raise questions about the value of the Sewell Convention, which says Westminster will not normally legislate in devolved areas without Holyrood's express consent. The WAP and a slew of other Brexit-related bills are likely to see the convention breached time and again in the coming months. The Sewell Convention is only a political practice, and carries no force in law. Mr Russell also published a legislative consent memorandum setting out the Scottish Government's reasoning. This is an updated and expanded version of the memorandum he issued in October, when the WAP was published in its original form before the election. The new memorandum covers the election result and a series of changes and dilutions made to the WAB now that Boris Johnson has a safe Commons majority. One notable change is that the revised document, in contrast to Nicola Sturgeon's claim she has an unarguable mandate for a second independence referendum, says there is no democratic mandate for Brexit in Scotland. It says, therefore the Scottish Government cannot support a bill that implements the exit of Scotland, as part of the UK from the EU. It cannot recommend that the Scottish Parliament consent to a bill to give effect to an agreement which it considers will do significant damage to Scotland. Although the Scottish Government's move had been expected, it adds to the EU intensifying fight between Edinburgh and London over a second independence referendum. On Tuesday, Nicola Sturgeon said that if Westminster passed the WAB without Holyrood's consent it would show contempt for devolution and a willingness to tear up constitutional rules in pursuit of Brexit. If the WAB is indeed imposed, the First Minister will cite it as further evidence of Scotland being disrespected and maltreated within the Union. In his letter to Brexit Secretary Steve Barclay, Mr Russell said, The people of Scotland have voted clearly and decisively against leaving the EU on each and every opportunity they have had, from the referendum in 2016 to the UK general election on 12 December. The for more on this story, visit the news article link.